Um, obviously, uh, Italy coming up this weekend. Um, you, you've played alongside uh, Giada Franco and, and you've, you've played against Italy a few times. What, what are you expecting from them uh, this weekend? Yeah, I think Italy are a really good side and, they, and they've, they've built quite a lot over the past couple of seasons. Um, it'll be interesting to see how, how they kind of come out of this um, COVID situation because I think the last time they played was against us. So it's been a long time um, for them playing international rugby. But, you know, with Italy, they've got so much flair and, and um, across the whole field and they're a very... Um, like up front their, their collisions are really strong so you know you've got to be on your a game and you play Italy because they will definitely punish you if, if you make any slight mistakes absolutely and uh, you, you talked a little bit about board Muir um and and her coming in obviously there's been quite a raft of new faces in the squad uh this time out has that uh made for a different atmosphere in in camp or brought anything kind of new to the to the group yeah I think um like at the minute we do these like front row installs which is we have it separate from all the other training so we get to just do like uh free v freeze and even in there you can see the intensity really really picked up um you know people are starting to feel under pressure um for their shirts which again like i say it's definitely a good thing and um the, you know the more we can do that and the more we can raise the level of training can only help raise our level during the game so um, I think having people like that in, um, another one's like Emily Robinson. She's she's um, injured at the minute, but I think she's come in and, and had a huge impact on camp as well. Absolutely. And uh, in terms of takeaways from from the game at the weekend, um, seen some people talking about just kind of uh, focusing on on lapses in concentration and things like that. What was your kind of key takeaway from, from the Scotland game? Yeah, I think it's kind of um, controlling the momentum of the game a little bit. I think... Um, you know, when we had had the first yellow card, um, obviously no one wants to go down to 14, 14 people. So probably could have controlled that situation a bit better. And I think we've looked to that now as a squad and as like a strategy group of how we would maybe approach that a bit differently um, if we were in that situation again. Um, and probably a bit cliche, but discipline, you know, we gave away some really cheap penalties, um, myself included, for things like offside, which, you know, you can kind of skew stuff at a breakdown if it's like a 50 50 call on on whether you like the referee's interpretation but things like offside is just cheap so um we've had we've had a lot of big focus on on cheap pens like that awesome and uh and last one from me um i noticed looking at a calendar it was uh two years ago yesterday uh the raf the navy game at the stoop uh, i know you're really proud of your, your forces background so um how much have you missed kind of having those opportunities to play a kind of different brand of rugby and get in front of a different audience? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, we've missed two inter services now because of COVID. Um, but like those are the games I really love, you know, um, you get to play for your club like week in, week out. You get to play for England, say 10, 11 times a year, say, um, if you're picked obviously, but you know, like Air Force rugby, you, you play like two games a year. And you only ever play the army and the navy once, so um, they're definitely something special. Those games, and um, you know, if if you muck up that game, you've got to wait a whole year. It's kind of like when you screw up a World Cup, you've got to wait four years. It's kind of that similar feeling of of you've got a long time before you can put it right. So, you know, as a team, we've been really sticking together and um, keeping on top of fitness and stuff like that, and trying to stay as as together as a group we can. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of rugby I really enjoy. So um, yeah, definitely missing that. Awesome. Thanks, Amy.